Now virus can be deactivated in many ways. We can use UV light, we can use very strong chemicals like acids, or even very strong chemicals like chlorines. They can deactivate the virus, but they can also be very harmful to our bodies. These are actually meant as deactivation strategies for viruses on the surface. That's why we can spray very high concentration of chlorine on surfaces to deactivate the virus, but we don't put them on our skin. But please, don't pour those on our bodies and please don't expose yourself to unnecessary high levels of UV rays. So for our skin, such as hands and so on, what do we use? We can also use chemicals, we can also use uh, disinfectants such as alcohol-based ones with a minimum concentration of 70% alcohol. Alcohol can actually deactivate virus via several ways. One way is that it can actually stick to the virus, envelop it, bind it, so that the, the outer layer of the virus is uh, enveloped in a layer, it cannot stick to us. The second way is, Alcohol can actually dissolve the outer layer of these viruses. Viruses have an outer layer to protect them themselves. So alcohol dissolves this outer layer and thus the virus is deactivated. If we don't have a fever, we don't have to quarantine anymore. We can stop quarantine and go out. Please, don't. Why did China have a lockdown in the city of Wuhan? This is a very good example. Is everyone in Wuhan infected and confirmed positive? No, it is merely a confinement strategy. A new coronavirus that has spread to more than 2,000 people is infectious in its incubation period, before symptoms show, making it harder to contain, Chinese officials say. So most viruses will remain in our bodies very quietly, because they need our cells and they need our bodies as production factories, remember, to produce their babies, as per part one. During this time, we will not feel sick or we will not have any symptoms, but we may harbour the virus already. It is already in our body. Current statistics are also showing that there are indeed people who had COVID-19, but did not show any symptoms, which is 30%, quite a bit while 56% show mild to moderate symptoms. If we continue to go out, we are going to infect everyone that we get in contact with. It is our responsibility to contain the spread of the virus. So virus is not alive. Antibiotics cannot kill virus. We don't consume antibiotics to kill virus. We consume antibiotics to kill bacteria. So if antibiotics cannot kill viruses, how do we get rid of it? Our own body's immune system will kill the virus. So our white blood cells would actually detect these invaders and eat them. Okay, the next myth, and I think it is one of the more, more, more interesting one. We must buy and stock toilet rolls or toilet paper. We do see such panic buying of toilet rolls across the globe from a family in Australia who have accidentally bought toilet roll supply that can last them for 12 years to an armed gang robbery stealing 600 rolls worth around Hong Kong dollar 1000 in Mong Kok, Hong Kong to a store owner in Japan that wrote curses on toilet rolls in its shop's washroom to prevent toilet rolls theft to the panic in Taiwan when rumors spread that toilet papers were used to make masks and thus will have a shortage until the Taiwan government intervened. Why toilet paper? Well, again, from past human experience, some viruses such as rotavirus can cause diarrhea and you would be needing a lot of toilet papers or tissues. Today we know that the three main killers are pneumonia on one hand, malaria on the other, but obviously diarrhea is one of the main killers today still, and specifically in developing countries. Acute diarrhea accounts to almost 11% of the deaths that we are having worldwide. And today we know that rotavirus is the main agent that causes severe gastroenteritis. In the case of coronavirus, COVID-19, 
it doesn't cause diarrhea. It does in certain people, but majority that's not its primary symptom. So there is no such need to stock up tissue paper, toilet rolls. There are many more myths. Even WHO have listed some up on its website. I'll include the link. And uh, there's so much paranoia going on, it's good that we can actually look at those.